force components in space and reason. You know, space means it is a three dimensional space which is having x, y, z coordinates and axis. Now, let F is a force acting along x, y, z coordinates. Then the components, then the components of this force components of this force about x, y, z axis means along x, y and z axis or fx is a force component about x axis, fy is a force component about y axis and fz is a force component about z axis. Force is a vector. Let I, J, and K are unit vectors along X, Y, Z axis. Then the vector sum of this force, vector sum of the force F is given by force F by D X I plus Y J plus Z K. So this is the vector sum of the force for the given three coordinate system. So if there are direction cosines, let if cos theta X is a direction cosine about x axis, cos theta y is a direction cosine with respect to y, and cos theta z is a direction cosine about z axis. Then we can write in terms of components as fx by cos theta x is equal to fy by cos theta y is also equal to f z by cos theta z which is equal to the force divided by 1. So this is a relation we can write. So this cos theta x, cos theta y, cos theta z are direction cosines. Direction cosines. Now these are the formulas we will be using to calculate force components in the space and the vector sum for the three coordinate system. Let us take a problem on components in a spatial system. I will read the problem. Determine the components of force F equal to 300 newtons when the line of action is directed from point A towards point B as shown in figure. So diagram is given. This is x axis, y axis which is perpendicular to x, then z axis perpendicular to both x and y. So there is a line AB and it is directed from A to B shown with arrow mark. The force of 300 newtons is acting from A to B and these are the corresponding distances with respect to R. These are the distances given in the problem. So this is 1 meter and this is 2 meter, this is 3 meter, 5 meter, 3 meter and this distance given as 3 meter. So first let us write the coordinates for the two points. For point A, so this is x axis, so this is the distance about x axis, but it is beyond this, so it becomes 
minus 2. Then this 1 meter is a distance parallel to y axis and about this it is upward so plus 1 and 3 meter is the distance which is connected to point A about z axis so I write this as 3. So this is x coordinate, y coordinate, z coordinate for point A. Similarly for point B let us write x, y, z coordinates. Now 3 meter is about x axis so its x component is 3 then 5 meter is along y so y coordinate is 5 then this 3 meter is the line parallel to z axis but it is beyond origin so this is minus 3 see vector sum f is equal to f by d x i y j z k this i j k are the unit vectors now what are the values given let us write the values f given 300 newtons then d is a distance that is x square y square z square so let us calculate x y values now x is a coordinate that is it is for a to b so x coordinate in b minus x coordinate in a minus 2 so that is 5 then similarly y coordinate y coordinate in b minus y coordinate in a 1 that is 4 then the z value z coordinate in a minus 3 minus z coordinate in a that is 3 minus 6 so substituting x y z values the distance b we are getting as 8.7 h meters now let us substitute in this f is 300 by d 8.7 h then 5 i plus 4 j minus 6 k now simplifying this we are getting its value 171 i plus 137 j minus 2 0 5 k so this is the total vector sum we are getting now in this this first value is the force component about x axis and this is the component about y axis and this is a component about z axis so from this we can write force component fx equal to 171 force component about y 137 newtons then force component about z that is 205 newtons so these are the components and these are the answers we are getting now in this is asking to determine components of the force that is fx of y of z we have done so with this this problem is completed